What's up you guys? Good morning, good evening, good afternoon! Saan man kayong napalok ng mundo? Hello, 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 hello! My name is Anno! And welcome back to my channel. Okay guys, so we are back! And makikita nyo, masyado ko na... Well, masyado ko na enjoy yung puan. Puan kasi ng asawa ko. So, andito ako sa kanyang opisinang area. Kaya, sasamantalahin natin. Anyways, without further ado, nakikita nyo naman sa title. Ang topic natin for today, or tonight, or kung ano mang araw o saan ka mang lupalok ng mundo nanonood ngayon. Topic for today is how to renew your Philippine passport during this pandemic. Tara, let's. Okay guys, how to renew your passport during this pandemic? And bago nating i-ano yan, I just wanna make sure na tayo ay nagkakatugmaan or we're in the same wave. <laughs> Sabi nga. Anyways guys, so nag-renew ako ng passport sa Chicago. Ngayon, I have to do this kasi baka sabihin nyo, ha, sino-sino yung ano, ito na po, sasagutin ko na. Ano yung mga state na under jurisdiction ng Chicago or ng um, Philippine Consulate sa Chicago. Okay, ito na. Bago nyo pa naisip, naisip ko na yun. Ito na, ito na. Okay? Ini-screenshot ko na kasi baka mawala pa. Alam nyo na. Okay. Ito yung mga um, consular jurisdiction. Okay? So, ito yung mga state na babanggitin ko na pwede kayong magparenew ng passport sa Chicago, Illinois. Okay? Ito. Siyempre, Illinois, Indiana, Iowa, Kansas, Michigan, Minnesota, Missouri, Nebraska, North, uh, North, <laughs> North Dakota, Ohio, South Dakota, Wisconsin. Okay. E yun po ay yung mga under jurisdiction ng Philippine Consulate sa Chicago, Illinois. Okay? And then, nakalagay dito, the following states are now under the jurisdiction of the Philippine Consulate General in Houston, Texas. So, parang na-update ata kung yung dati yung Arkansas, Louisiana, Mississippi, at Oklahoma ay ngayon po ay under na ng jurisdiction ng Consulate General in Houston, Texas. Okay? So, yan. So, balik na tayo sa ating topic, sa ating pinaka-main topic. Well, alam niyo na po lahat ngayon ako po ay from Michigan, nakatira ngayon. Kaya ako ay under jurisdiction ng Chicago, Illinois or ng Philippine Consulate sa Chicago, Illinois. And then, ito na nga. How to renew your Philippine passport during this pandemic? Step 1. Nilista ko 'yon. <laughs> Nagsulat talaga ako kasi um, I tried filming na ha kasi nalilito ako so I have to write this. Okay, step one. Know where you should renew which is yung sinabi ko na kanina. Sinulat ko pa talaga, no? So yun, kung anong jurisdiction o kung saan kayong under jurisdiction na consulate, okay? And then, step two. Um, go to the website chicagopcg.com again chicagopcg.com and print out health declaration form okay may dalawang version po yan which is yung english and tagalog so it's up to you na po kung anong gagamitin yung form you have to print that out and fill it out okay yung akin po ina yung fin um, print ko na lang ay yung english kasi ar mas madali siguro kasi since dito tayo sa america okay Step 3. Ah, step 3. Okay. Set up an appointment via email. Okay? Ngayon po, during the pandemic, there are no more walk-ins. Okay? Lahat po ngayon ay magdadaan na through appointment. Okay? And sasabihin ko sa inyo mamaya, well, alam nyo na rin naman because of the pandemic. Pero yung experience ko, isi-share ko after this steps. Okay? So, ayun. Um, step 3 again. Set up an appointment via email. No more walk-ins. Two. Oh, dito nyo po isi-send yung email nyo. 
by na magpapa-appointment kayo, Chicago PCG that passport appointments at gmail.com. Again, ito po ulit siya. Chicago PCG passport appointments at gmail.com. Okay. And then, pag nag-email kayo, make sure na i-attach nyo din yung declaration form or yung health declaration form na print out nyo tsaka finil out nyo. Kung wala pa kayong scanner, you can use a photo para, para malinaw kita. Make sure na pag nagpa-appointment kayo, nag-send kayo ng email, ng message, make sure po na naka-attach yung health declaration form nyo. And, um, FYI lang po, um, ang passport renewals are only during Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday except holidays. Again, yung passport renewals are only during Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday except holidays. Okay? And then, step four. Complete or prepare the requirements. Okay? So, ito na yung mga requirements. Lahat po nung binabanggit ko ngayon ay makikita nyo din sa website. You just have to browse it para makita nyo lahat. Kung hindi kayo satisfied sa video na to at gusto nang umpisahan ng ano, um, ito, pinabangit ko na isa, isa Okay. Yung step 4 ulit natin is complete or prepare the requirements. And what are the requirements? Okay. For the e-passport or the electronic passports, yun po yung mga, kagaya nito, yung mga maroon passports with chips or yung passport starting with EA, EB, or EC. Okay. Ayun, ito yung ano yan, requirements niya. Number one ay yung print out and fill uh, fill out nyo yung form or yung renewal application form. Okay? Nandun din yan sa website. Makikita nyo din yan. So, you have to print out and then fill up nyo po yung form na yan. Okay? Yung renewal application form. And then, you have to photocopy yung biographic page ng passport yung yung current yung passport yung pinaka current yun okay and then at the same time you have to secure your old passport okay kasi dadalhin niya yan later on sa inyong ano okay and then also a photocopy of your GC or visa okay photocopy of your green card in or your visa whatever you have and then um, original current passport na mention ka na kanina and then, sa mga dual citizen naman po, uh, you just have to bring yung photocopy of dual identification certificate. And then, yung number six, huwag nyo pong kakalimutan, if you want your passport to be delivered, kagaya po nang ginawa ko, kasi from Michigan nga ako, and hindi naman lahat ng magpaparinyo is from Illinois, which is malapit, they can just drive by. Yung akin po ay, ang pinamail back ko na lang. So, kung yun din yung process na gagawin nyo, um, isa sa mga requirements is you have to bring your own self-address envelope. Okay. Ang yung mga example po nun is yung sa priority mail ng USPS. And then, um, ang ginamit ko naman ay yung UPS. All you have to do is print out lang ng label. Um, yung tinatawag nilang prepaid label ng um, USPS, uh, UPS. So, ayun. And then, syempre, kapag sa... Sa UPS, um, kailangan may sarili kang envelope. Yung akin kasi, since it's it's late na, nagprint na lang ako ng label from UPS sa so website. Um, siguro mga nagre-range lang siya ng mga 11 bucks o oh, $11. And then, ayun, um, and then secured envelope. Idinikit ko na lang yung mismong label sa harapan. Tapos, ayun, ayun. So, yun yung again. Repeat natin sa so step 4, you have to complete or prepare the requirements which are Yung print out or fill up nyo yung renewal application form. And then, uh, photocopy ang biographic page ng passport nyo at yung mismong passport. You have to secure that. And then, kailangan din ang photocopy of your green card or vi uh, visa. And then, um, for dual citizenship um, or for dual citizens, uh, you have to bring the photocopy of your dual identification certificate. And then, yung self-address envelope, which is pwedeng... USPS or UPS. Okay? And then, um, may kasunod pa pala. Dami ko palang sinulat. And then, for the renewal naman, so, kanina, yung pinag-usapan natin, for the maroon passports and with ships or passports starting with EA, EB, EC. So, yun yung mga requirements. This time naman, if you are renewing your passport or your Philippine passport ng um, lumang passport na nag-start sa 
XX or ito yung mga green passport or brown passports or yung older issued before 1995. And if you want to renew that, ito po yung mga requirements. Number one, syempre, same thing. Uh, you have to print and fill out yung renewal application form. And then, original current passport or original current Philippine passport. And then, you have to photocopy then yung biographic page. And then, um, photocopy then ng green card nyo or ng visa nyo. And then, number five, um, original and photocopy ng birth certificate nyo ng NSO or yung former na PSA. Oh, uh, yun. Or NSO. Hindi ko alam kung ano na sa dalawang yun. Basta you have to have yung original and photocopy ng inyong birth certificate. Siyempre, Philippines. Yun. Yun. And for married naman, bring your ROM or report of marriage. And copy and copy at the same time and photocopy niya yun. And then, uh, um, you have to bring a valid ID. Um, pwede yung driver's license or state ID nyo or school or work ID. Or, o kaya pwede rin na Philippine ID if you still have those, like voter's ID, um, SSS, GSIS, or meron kayong driver's license pa sa Pilipinas, you can bring that too as proof. And then, number eight, for dual citizen again, yun, same thing, you have to bring the copy, yung copy ng dual identification certificate nyo, and then, yung pinakalas, yung self-address envelope, either USPS na priority mail, or UPS, yung prepaid level, uh, label, ang tinatawag nila, okay? Yan, step 5, you have to prepare either cash or money order, okay? They don't accept personal checks, they don't accept debit or credit, okay? Either cash lang or money order, okay? And it's $60, okay? Yun po yung fee. You have to bring that, huwag nyo kakalimutan, okay? And then, for step 6, okay, once you had the appointment, Go there, not earlier than 10 minutes. Okay. Bakit kasi nasabi yun? Kasi, dahil hindi lang dahil sa pandemic, nagiging ano sila, um, hindi ka talaga papasukin or hindi ka paakitin sa mismong floor um, hanggat hindi at least 5 minutes before your appointment. Okay. Kunwari, um, yung sa akin kasi uh, was 1.30 and then nakarating kami doon 1 kasi nga, alam niya na, kailangan mas maaga ng konti. Pero, pinabalik lang ako, 1.25 p.m. Okay? Ayun. And then, um, check everything you need, like yung requirements. You have to, you know, um, make sure na dala mo lahat ng requirements sa binanggit natin in the fee. Ayun. And then, yung attire naman po ay formal attire. Not necessarily kailangan business na attire or bungacious na formal na formal ang attire mo. As long as, hindi syempre... Um, plunging neckline, sleeveless, shorts, yung mga ganon. So, pag sinabi natin at least formal, alam nyo na yun, okay? And then, no earrings or necklaces. Um, yeah, pinapaalis kasi during the photo, um, ano, pinapatanggal yung yun. <laughs> and then, um, at the same time, kung kagaya ko kayo na nakasalamin, uh, syempre, kailangan yung isuot yun, but... Um, pag magte-take kayo ng photo, ipapaalis yun. Kaya, if I were you, pag nandun na kayo sa step na yun, um, i-ready nyo lang din. Tanggalin nyo lang din yung salamin nyo. Ayun. Kasi, magte-take kayo ng photo. Okay? And then, also, hindi lang photo. Um, sa mga naka-contact lens, pwede siya as long as clear. Okay? Clear yung gamit yung contact lens. Kasi, um, hindi pwede mga colored contact lenses. Hmm? Yun. I guess, yun na ba yun? Yun. So, yun na yun. So, we have... Step 1 to step 6. Okay. So, based naman sa experience ko, ito lang yun. So, like I've said, um, lahat ng requirements, dinala ko. And then, um, nung experience na doon, in fairness, pumasok kami, siguro 4 or 5 lang kami napapasok. Kasi, um, it's a huge building. So, punta ka muna doon. Um, meron silang pinaka-receptionist or may tao sa front desk. Um, yun yung magsasabi sa'yo. Yun yung mag-check ng name mo kung talagang may appointment ka that day. And then, sasabihin niya sa'yo kung if you're too early, um, they will ask you to, uh, they will ask you to go back five minutes before your appointment. And then, i-guide nila kayo which floor. And then, once nandun na kayo sa mismong consulate, makikita nyo na 
um, yung mga upuan, may distances na. And then, um, yung gagawin nyo din na process sa loob, mas mabilis kasi per window. So, yung pagpasok ko namin nun, ako yung unang-unang tinawag agad. As hindi pa nakakaupo yung puwet ko dun sa upuan. Tinawag agad ako. And then, for the first window, dun may ibibigay lahat ng iyong requirements. Like yung lumang passport, photocopy ng biographic page, yung form... And then, yung envelope na kailangan. And then, yung green card. yon So, kailangan yon Che-check lang ngayon. And then, che-check din niya yung form kung talagang na-fill out mo nang maayos. So, then, pag maayos yon they're gonna ask you to go back to your seat. And then, they're just gonna call you again. And then, that's the first window. After, siguro, two minutes, max. Yeah, kasi mabilis kasi nga ako, konti lang kayo. Like, three to four lang ata kami nun sa loob. Yun. And then, um, sa second window, tatawagin ka ulit. And then, paglapit mo don you have to prepare naman yung fee. Okay? Ito na yung bayad. So, it's either money order or cash. Yung sa akin, ng cash na lang para wala nang hassle. And then, ayun, um, bibigyan ka lang ng receipt. And then, after nan, po upo upo ko ulit. They're gonna ask you to go back to your seat and then wait for your name to be called again. And then, sa pinakalas na window, ito na yung picture taking. Siguro, dahil nga, syempre, mas matagal lang konti yung process doon. Inabot siguro yun. Siguro, 3 minutes to 5 minutes max after mong po upo in from paying. Yun. Um, ayun lang, um, may computer na nakaharap doon. Same thing kung paano ka rin magpa... Pagdag doon, pag biometrics, diba? Ganon din yung ginagawa. Nakaharap yung computer. And then, you're gonna take a photo. Again, kapag nakasalamin like me, ipapaalis nila yon Yung earrings. And then, ipapaayos din nila. Actually, um, yung experience, uh, hindi ako makakapagreklamo kasi maayos yung mga ano. And plus, yung nag-take ng photo, then talaga naman talagang ipapaan niya sa'yo na, I can fix your hair. Hindi to, ganyan. Yeah, in, in all fairness, mabait si na kuya, si na nanay doon. Ayun, syempre lahat sila Pilipino. O, oh, Pinoy. Ayun, so, after nun, nag-take siya ng photo. Um, he asked lang naman ako if tama yung information sa computer. And then, wag niyong i-rush yun kasi you have to check, you have to read carefully yung info if it's right. Like, yung name nyo, address nyo, or oh, address, I mean, name nyo, um, age nyo, birth date, ganon. Okay? You have to be sure na tama yun. Kasi, dun sila magbe-base. Okay? And then, pag sure na yun, um, he's gonna ask you na to sign na yung sa machine na, ano, you just computerized machine. So, you just have to sign na, yeah, tama nga yun. No, then, go, sign. Yun. And then, after pa nung sign, hindi pa tapos, you have to do the fingerprint. Okay? So, parang confirmation lang naman yun. Fingerprint lang. Okay? And then, after nan, you're done. As in, you're good. You're good to go. Kasi, iintayin mo na lang. Um, so, magtataka kayo na sa akin yung old. Same day, binalik din sa akin itong old ko. Ginawa lang nila sa first window, binutasan lang. Yan, ito yung pinarinyo ko. And then, nakuha ko na yung bago ko. So, ano, uh, in fairness, ito na yung 10 years na sinasabi nila. And ito yung, hindi ko matandaan kung 3 ata, 2 or 5 or something. I don't know. Masa, nakalimutan ko na. Teka, let me check. Ano mo ako na sa tagal yung ganun? Ah, okay. Five. So, five years yung luma pala. And then, ten na tong bago. So, ito na yung luma. Ibabalik nila to sa'yo. Lalagyan lang nila ng butas na ganyan. And then, um, usually yung process, uh, sabi nila, six weeks or more. Kasi may narinig ako nagtanong. Six weeks usually. Pero dahil nga sa pandemic, it might affect. So, may mga unprecedented tayong kaganapan na nangyayari sa buong mundo. Kaya, ayun, hindi mo naman masisisi yun. So, sabi nga nila 6 weeks. But, mine, siguro inabot sa akin ng 4 weeks. 4 weeks lang nandito na. Again, ang ginamit ko ay UPS, yung prepaid um, label nila, which is mga nasa 11 box. All you have to do is print out yung... Um, what do you call this? Yung label from online. You just have to pay it. Yung online then, And then, para din masatisfy kayo, ipapakita ko sa inyo yung envelope na, gina na ginamit ko. Wait lang. Ayan. Okay, guys. So, ito na nga. Yung ginamit kong envelope ay eto. It's a plastic na may, may, may bubble wrap siya sa loob. Kasi, uh, sa so weather ngayon, mag-winter, 
umuulan-ulan o kaya hindi ko masabi kung kailan darating yung kung kailan darating siya o kailan nila ipapadala. Kaya, I made sure na bumaham, ay bumaman. I made sure na umulan man, mag-snowman, um, nakasealed pa rin yung passport. Okay? So, as in, dumating lang siya, nakaganto lang. As in, ito lang yung laman niya at all. No paper, nothing else. Ito lang talaga siya. Except, syempre, yung label, dito ko lang nilagay. Dinikit ko lang siya. And since paper lang siya at print out ko siya, baka i-worry nyo, baka mapunit. What I did was, ito akin lang po, suggestion lang din sa inyo. Since ipiprint nyo yun, if you're going to use din ng UPS like what I did, um, yung label dito, pinuno ko siya ng, um, ng tape. Pinuno ko siya ng tape na clear. So, walang ano pa rin. Para kita pa rin. Kasi, yung UPS na ipapaprint nyo or ipiprint nyo, kasi syempre may code yun, may barcode. O yun, kaya kailangan hindi na ko-cover yun. Basta you'll, you'll have naman or you'll get naman yung instruction na how to do it na kung ano dapat hindi nyo cover once you print out yung label. Okay? So, yun. Again, suggestion lang kasi ito nga, plastic siya plus may wrap, bubble wrap siya sa loob. Um, timing during this um, pandemic and then sa weather Kasi nga, winter na. Pa-winter. Actually, winter na nga eh. So, ayun. And plus, mas madali siyang i-disinfect kasi it's plastic nga. So, you just have to wipe it. Ayun. Ayun lang. So, yeah. I got my new one. 10 years na. And then, yun lang guys. Again, sana nakatulong. And hope maging uh, mas, mas mabilis yung pagpaprocess nyo. Balitaan nyo ako if somehow nakatulog yung video na to at nakapagpa rin nyo kayo ng passport nyo. And then, yun lang. Uh, for those who haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe. Kasi nakita ko mas maraming nanonood sa akin na hindi nakasubscribe. So, parang nakakaano lang. Kasi nanonood kayo ito sa akin yung mag-subscribe. Kaloka kayo. Mag-subscribe na kayo. Para sa akin na yun. Ayan, guys. Thank you again. If you, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Kung nakatulong din ang video na to sa iyo, please give it a thumbs up. And then, pwede na tayo magkwentuhan sa comment box. And for um, suggestions, kung ano pang gusto nyo yung video na pwedeng gawin, leave a comment lang. And again, kung rabilis kanina yung ano, i-add ko lang, check the dis description. <laughs> check nyo lang po yung description. <laughs> um, para hindi nyo nahulihin, you can always check yung mga website at yung email na binigay ko kanina sa video. Kasi baka rabilisan kayo, hindi nyo naisulat, hindi nyo nakita. Pakicheck na lang po yung description box and you can see it there. And then, again guys, thank you for watching. Peace out. <laughs> Joke lang. Shall we be? Thank you.